Well, the problem now is that there is so much knowledge that just discussing the new discoveries crimps the amount of mental time that you can devote to trying to put those together. It's, it's hard for the clinicians to keep up with the pace of discovery in the basic science. And it's hard for the basic scientists to keep up with the evolution of thinking about the kinds of mental illnesses that are distinct categories where you could look for unique mechanisms of prevention or, or treatment or, or diagnostics. If there's any regret I have, it's that the sheer dint of discovery has forced apart what was always the, the cohesive element. What's going to happen is that our ability to image the human brain in action is going to improve both the time resolution and spatial resolution. Uh, the drugs that we work with to identify sensitive places in the brain will make markers that we can use on the living brain and test people sequentially. We'll be able to understand better the action, the ability of experience to alter the structure and function of the brain and the ways in which aging and other diseases may incapacitate those abilities to respond adaptively, constructively to the events that we face with our brains. So um, on the one hand, it'll be more of the same, but on the other hand, the same will be sameness that's filled in where instead of uh, big arrows and question marks over them, we'll, we'll know about the molecular events that take place from the moment that sensory events mm -hmm. enter the brain until it modifies the association areas to take advantage of that information, store it, and, and use it on another occasion. Mm -hmm. We have the problem that we're so popular, we have such a good meeting that people want to join with us. At the same time, the more people who join with us, the further apart we are driven by the fact that there is only so much space for so many bodies. So finding how to make an equilibrium out of that, how to maintain the vitality of the conversations, and keep the young people coming in, somehow turning us older ones out to pasture in some useful way, I think that's a, that's a real problem. We have high quality people who are coming to the meeting from broader areas than we used to be able to attract, mixing with the, with the classic groups of people, a nice uh, mix of European scientists who are coming to this mm -hmm. meeting. Right. I think uh, our global efforts in neuropsychopharmacology uh, will allow us to maybe survive this period of suppressed funding when we can work through cooperative consortium types arrangements and not everybody have to do everything. Find trusted partners that you can work with and share your results in a way that you can each move forward with maybe not quite such an expensive attitude towards what you have to do. Yeah.